Guys, Nabe preparation. I've been preparing the vegetable, which is mushroom, straw mushrooms, carrot, and Chinese cabbage. But what I want to show you guys is tofu and mochi. Yukari, what's the name of that? What's the name of this honey for What's a mochi and tofu? Aburage. Aburage. No, no, no. Stop. Oh. Japanese expert in the building. Roll it out. So, so they cut And then you can open easily. So from Yukari san, you should have a little pocket. Yeah, thank you. And then we got some mochi. And I've been instructed to cut this into quarters. So obviously I'm not gonna show you guys how to cut a frigging mushroom. Oh, oh it's already these are good because they're already pre-cut look. Oh, pre -cut. Yeah. Yeah, you just snap these. And mochi is basically a special kind of rice that's been refined into this hard block. And this is actually one of my favorite Oden things to make. Correct? So, 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 so. So you just want to get a pocket like this. Right. 150 yen. Oh, so it's very cheap to buy. Mm. Right, it could have. 300 yen. So total's about 450. And that's it, right? Are you? Yes. So that's from Yukari. So we have prepared some other items which I'll feature in the video later. But mochi haba how is it habare hmm? habare what is it what's the name abura abura is abura one... age habura age abura means oil uh. oil the fried <laughs> very simple guys to make. It's actually my first time to make this. You can buy these from the supermarket pre-made, but Yukari told me that um, it's cheaper to buy the ingredients separately. For this, 200 yen. Yeah? So basically, if you buy all this separately, you can save a lot of money. And when she said fried, it is basically fried tofu. Because my hands are already oily right now. So nabe is, is it a popular dish in Japan, Yuko? Nabe. In winter. Oh, it's a winter food. Sometimes another gradient is mochi and Sometimes egg. Oh, egg. You can put egg in there. So basically, basically you just flatten it out, put the mo mo um, mochi inside there, crimple it up like that and then put a cocktail stick in it. Obviously, be careful when you're eating this. I'm just showing you guys some, I think this is the first time I've made like traditional Japanese food on my YouTube channel, so. This is kind of a first. 
but I know from my visits to the Oden bar, which Oden means like boiled. If you want, I'm not the two piece the mochi. Oh, if you like more. That was terrible. I need to practice the the skill of this, but basically what you try to do is is trap them like that and you can use bought a big pack of these and later on in the video I'll be showing you what other ingredients that I've bought or what items of food that I like to eat on a Japanese food night. I think that sh this would be easy with a, a regular rolling pin, to be honest. There you go. And this is quite a pop, is it a popular dish, this you guy? <coughs> People like to eat this. Really? But mochi itself is really delicious. I, I really like it. So another pack of these is enough, I think. It depends how much you want to eat. No. Not yet. The kids are getting hungry. How about that? I love it. Where's that Korean? You're going to put that Korean thing. Is it that does that? So this is totally live. So my kids might be a little bit loud on the video, maybe. So kinoko is mushroom. So Zenji is happily eating away. What? Madareya. Then. Watches left. The other ingredients, I'm not quite sure if you can get them outside Japan because this is a very quote unquote traditional Japanese food. And I think basically the Am I making my own niku dango with this pot, Mika? Making balls? Okay. No herbs, no spices, just simple. I saw it. Okay. Am I... So we got our. Fluffy meatball of that. Ah, oh, that's a uh, skiaki, right? Ah. So we got some pork. Some pork mints. So we're gonna make some. What's it called? Niko Niku Dango. That's what the name is, right? So with Japanese taste, and I know you carry in the family, they don't like anything too crazy. But garlic, no, don't it? Shut up. There's ginger. <coughs> so you can add a bit of garlic, which I have. Maybe one clove is probably enough. 
these clubs are pretty big by the way I think I was mentioning this on another video about yeah it was my farmers market video about the garlic being really big and lots of flavor so I'm just gonna chop this garlic up remove any skin or hard bits Build. I mean I think personally I think this garlic would be better minced I'll show you guys how I mince garlic up and all it is is just adding salt and a, a dash of lemon juice I have actually spent the time in sharpening this now <laughs> Zen wants to cook. Okay. So I've already prepared some garlic. The garlic? Ginger, sorry. Japanese ginger is a bit... It can come in different forms. Okay, how many different types of garlic do you have? I mean, ginger and garlic. Some is organic. But I think the Chinese, the Chinese garlic is a lot cheaper. You can buy it for very cheap. Like, but before I pe try and paste this, I'm just trying to break it down a little bit. Break it down. And then add a bit of salt. Oh, it's salt, you guys. Two scoop is enough. Basically, you can use the blade side your knife. I hope this is picking this up on camera. And basically mix it down. I'm going to add you can use lemon juice or real lemon. You can't even watch me do this because this is a Japanese meal and I don't want to get off track with it. It's better with a Chinese knife, I think, or Chinese style, big machete style knife. I'm using a French cook knife, so I'm trying to render this down best as possible but you can do this technique which big shout out to Brian he was a chef that I used to work with from England and he used to make minced garlic like this and actually if you leave this in the fridge the reaction of salt, garlic, ginger, and lemon juice will actually make this turn bright blue. But this is going to give this 
meat, a lot of flavour. You don't need to add any any salt in that. I'm not going to add black pepper, but I'm just going to mix it up like this. And he saw you? Okay, all right. Just there. Oh. You can add a bit of soy sauce for flavour. And normally when they serve this in shabu shabu restaurants is they actually put this into a bamboo and you just scrape it off because the meat is actually minced and it's difficult to <coughs> scoop out so to speak <coughs> we'll add a bit of soy sauce and a bit of black pepper only a tiny bit because the kids are here but I think that's what it needs you don't have to use your hands so you can use a spoon depending on how much meat you've got can adjust the flavours but so when I get to make the Niku Dango Niku's meat dango is bold I can use two spoons, cold spoons that have been dipped in ice and make some bowls. So I'll just put two little spoons in and this is how you would make these balls they don't have to be perfectly in a shape but I mean like that is sufficeable so you you get what I'm saying guys so today's recipe is that in so in Japan we have these special um, cookers what are they call you kind just hot. Nabe kuka. So, I don't know if you can buy those in foreign countries, but these are quite popular machines to buy. They've got the cabbage, hot plate, carrot, straw, mushrooms. What's that, you guys? She, you guys made a special dish. Uh, daikon, which is white radish. That you carry is made. <laughs> With some yellow daikon, tomato. We got the nikudango. We have the what is it? Abarare. So and then we bought some Korean miso. Is it miso paste? You got? I like this with cucumbers. So. And we got some Japanese ponzu, which is like Japanese orange and lime, which is really one of my favorite things to eat with salads and other like fish, especially nabe as well. Caesar salad, salad, and this one, this lettuce salad dressing. So. This is how it goes down in Japan, people. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, mate. You like nabe? Ski dish, oh. Alright. Cheers, guys. <sighs> Another component of this nabe dish is tofu. Which.
you just basically cut it up to the size you want, mainly cubes. You can see that, guys. I just cut this up into like six pieces. It's basically soya bean. That's done. We got the pork, pork slice. And the fat from here will add a lot of flavour to the stock broth. I mean, today we we got the um, the miso flavoured stock broth today, so it should be delicious. And that's it. That's what nabe is. Very simple Japanese style cooking, guys. Um, so, guys, an added bonus is that I have visited my local Korean store. This is Korean, like chili sauce, chili. I don't know. Yeah, it's just chili sauce, but it's really good. Um, I've also got some very very spicy kimchi. Um, the lady that owns it is actually. Um, She's half Japanese, half Korean, I think. Um, and this is homemade kimchi, and it's amazing. <coughs> and then added to that, we've got some uh, chichimi, which is basically Korean omelette. I think it comes with some Korean sauce. Um, <laughs> really good. Oishi, one of my favorite things. And then obviously, I think as I mentioned before, we've got some Korean paste. I don't know what this is in... Uh, how do you say that in Japanese, UK? Samjang. Samjani? Samjang. Samjang. Really good. But um, this stuff here is like premium style kimchi. It's homemade, fresh. So I don't actually know what this kimchi is called, but it's like um, Japanese like spinach, bean sprouts, kimchi, and it's really, really spicy. So I think I've chosen the right one. Yeah. It's really hot. This is like the spiciest. Paste the duo, I think it is. Wow. That green spinach. There's a balancer in there. So fresh. Mm. Pretty spicy. But with the plainness of Japanese rice, it's a big balance there. Mm. With a little start before we start prep on the. Uh, then just done now. Oh. Spicy. Yeah, we can go. This will be going in the pot.
the uh, uh, I would call it like Korean miso paste. So good. You can have it with like veg or lettuce. Lettuce is probably the biggest one, but. Mm. And this stuff here will last you a long time. Oh shit. basically like a special it's a bit like okonomiyaki but this is korean style and it comes with this oh, this like flavoring it's not soyu i think it's some korean thing but yeah, blazer With, I, I like obviously I like chili, but it's an omelette with negi, leeks, shrimp. Dip it in that 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 chili. Oh man, so good. Mm. So you guys put the uh, hot pot on there. Everything's steaming out. We just got the, the meat to add there. But um, this is the current status. Really good guys, really good. I'm gonna try some of that Japanese daikon over there, but you just let that steam for about maybe five to ten minutes. But yeah, oh shit. That's what that's what's left from the stock. Nikodango, carrot, tofu, cabbage, mushrooms. Let's dive in, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the uh, the pork mix that we made with a little bit of mushroom added to that. Okay. Mm. I think Yukari is adding noodles. Is that normal, Yukari? Cabbage. Heaven. Try a bit of the tofu. Tofu is a little bit soft, so I'm going to add it to this chili dip. Oishi? 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 
So you guys added some uh, Japanese noodles uh. And do this Yeah Then, cucumber. Cucumber. Oishi. Oishi. Nice. The sauce, the stock. Nice. Tofu is very healthy. Omelette, or cucumber, tochi. This is the best thing in the world. You have to experience this. Anyway, it's too much like omelette now. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so my son likes this Korean paste. I don't know what it's called, but. So, as I told you about the. Uh, Abahare, uh, Abre, <laughs> Aburahare. <laughs> you have to take this out, this this cocktail stick. But man, this is so good. Yeah, a lot of old people die in Japan because of mochi. So I'm gonna dip this in the chili. And the mochi should have been melted so much. Mm. It's the best thing in the world. Tofu's really good. And it's flavoured. Amazing. 
The last piece of uh, chichimi. Soak up those flavours. Zed. Zed, oi she? Mokai, dipper. Yeah. Do you want noodle? Of course. So we've got some noodles, some more meat, parade, nikudango, just amazing. You guys want to see that? Try the noodles, which are pre made in some ponds. Yeah. 